Hey guys, it's Nate here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4. In the last episode, I did something that I forgot about because I haven't played the game for two days. And apparently it's a lot long time. Uh, but I have a few things to do before I do what I plan on doing with this video. Um, well, one, I just got the Benevolent Leader achievement, finally. Um, but I used... I sent away Piper and Kate. I think they're still here. I think they're asleep. But uh, I sent away Piper and Kate, I took someone from Sanctuary, uh, I assigned them at the bar that I have up here, and I just uh, waited a few days, slept a few days, in al alternating, of course, yeah, they're asleep, uh, alternating, of course, and then the achievement just popped. Um, I would do a full achievement guide on it, but honestly, it's getting annoying, and sometimes I was tempted to use console commands, but I didn't. Um, I mean, achievement's hard to get, especially with that uh, glitch that keeps happening. So, uh, I forgot what I was doing. Hey, Nick. Um, oh yeah, I modded my power armor, too. It says that. Um, hi, Valentine. Hey. There's something you need? I really can't talk to... okay. Hey, Valentine. Hey, you, uh, got a sack? Yeah. Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, uh, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. But I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. Oh. <sighs> you think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Um... Is there any way we could separate you and Nick? Don't think I haven't tried. Lost near a month of my life last time I mustered up the courage to let someone play brain surgeon on me. Yeah. No. This is how it's gonna be. Living with another man's name. Another man's life. I should start reading these. Built your own life. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. Well, thank you, Valentine. I honestly didn't know this was going to happen. I was I made Nick wait here while I was doing my whole settlement thing. Come on. Count on it. Hang on, what is my... You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Um, what kind of history? What kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. You were the one with the bad man. Did a lot of bad things. Is that what the holidays are for? A lot of innocent people. 
But he knew the end was coming. That's what the holotapes so are for. He sealed himself inside a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. This makes sense now. I, I kept getting Eddie Winter holotapes, but I had no idea what they were. I remember him. Eddie Winter was from my time. Real scumbag. Oh, seriously? The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death. Live forever. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Hey, 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 hey. Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. <laughs> no cryo sleep for him, no. <laughs> banana? He his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. That sounds like Voltec. Uh, something against cryo. Radiation experiment? You don't mean... To tell me he used that radiation to... Ghoul. That's right. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Oh. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him. So that never happens. You in? Why do this? I, I don't get it, Nick. Why kill Eddie Winter, even if he is still alive? This sounds like some kind of vendetta. I've got memories of the, the girl. My girl. They're not really my memories, I know that. They're Nick's. But the girl, she was real. She was beautiful. And innocent. And Winter killed her. Now he's got to pay the price. So, knowing that, are you in? Well, now that you say like that. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes. I have four. Incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Imagine I had all of those. one of Winter's. Managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. My gut tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals are the key to cracking this one. Probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. So what do I have now? Wait, let me see if this makes any sense. Let me see if this makes any sense, because I think I have some on hand right now. I don't think I could get rid of them. Message to Alexander Strelnikov. My esteemed Mr. Strelnikov, I know someone of your profession values discretion above all else. But I have to honestly say, screw that. I mean, come on. One bullet, halfway one. across okay. town. Okay, okay, that makes sense. It's one. Head clean off. Sir, are an artist. Are all the assassins from Russia as good as you? I seriously doubt it. But listen, your secret's safe with me. Eddie Winter, signing off. Who do you think? Sorry. Nobody. Trying to get paper. All right, one. And it's a ten-digit code. So I'll find those hollow tapes and find out the code. I'm gonna turn this thing into Preston. I was, I was gonna go to Vault 81, uh, but I, don't, I think I've only been recording for about 10 minutes. We were, talk, we were talking to Nick for a while. 10 or 15 minutes. Alright, just in case the mission glitches again. Wait, where's the person? Of course they're asleep. I would turn the lights on, but that's a lot of work, and it's almost morning. Don't kill I him. I took care of those raiders for you. Wake up. Really? 
Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. So much, uh... Hang on a second. Just in case I level up. Pressed on. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. Please don't break your back again, Preston. Don't do it. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. A pack of ghouls has holed up near a settlement. They could use our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. Well, you guys know that. Since Preston's become such a meme, you guys know everything he's going to say. Uh... I want to see how, because I keep doing things that he likes and loves in his vicinity, so I want to see how much affinity I have. <coughs> I want to see how much affinity I have with him less aggressively. And then... Wait, 272? Preston? <clears throat> Another settlement has sent word that they need oh. our help. Okay. I'll mark All right, mark that. Do you have a minute? Oh. Of course, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thank you. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. Um... If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Um, I agree. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. And a lot of it has to do with your example. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks. We probably better get back to it. First, I'm going to come back for you at soon. Soon. We will travel together soon. All right, so where am I? Where am I going? Because I know, I know I'm gonna have to find these hollow tapes, but I think one that I didn't find was somewhere over there at South Boston. I I kept finding these. I didn't know what they were for, and of course, leave it to something mysterious to be related to Valentine, a person who solves mysteries for a living. I haven't heard the music in a while, I like it. I mean, I didn't even... Honestly, I thought, uh... It might have been some other side quests not related to Nick's personal one. That sounded like footsteps that weren't ours. What is happening? Wait. It's across the street. What the hell was that? I, I knew it. Anyone there? One person. Found us. Crap. Every time I try to gun bash someone, all I do is throw something. But say what? I have stuff that's stronger than this, but I forgot. I'm. I keep forgetting I'm not wearing my armor at all, and I also keep. I get so into the battle that I forget to heal myself. To turn my volume down, probably very loud. 
Okay. Take these. Remember your mortal. Do I have anything that takes away radiation that doesn't require an entire right away? Yeah, there we go. Apparently cooking uh, animal meat and irradiated animal meat is very good. Or well, very beneficial in this game. I imagine it's good. Now I have one of those weird things that people just develop when they play the game. Alright, I think next fighting someone. I gave him a pretty good gun, so he should be good. Alright, what's over here? Uh-oh. Is that gonna... Just in case. Alright, what's in here? Some rad roaches in here. Who is that? I got your favorites. Okay, that was weird. I haven't heard that before. Alright, there's, there's usually uh, hollow to. Ooh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, fingerprints, South Boston, Miss Connell regarding the theft unsuccessful. We'll attempt again. Winter holiday blogs. Uh, on loan Quincy Police, requisition Deputy Gold, the Nanhead Sheriff Department. Oh, great. Oh, wait, it's in here. Okay. Just making sure. That's how you imagine you'd go. Who are you yelling at, Valentine? Um, okay, let's not be stupid about this. Did I try every day yet? There we, there go. we go. I find myself saying a lot of things my character says. Okay, I thought that was something in my ear. Uh, sick. That was worth my time. Alright, I didn't... Okay, that's what he's yelling at. That's what he's yelling at. Nick's not crazy. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I just use VAT because I get scared sometimes, honestly. How close am I to level 50? I'll oh, check in a second. Oh, I guess I'm that close. How'd I get 73? Oh my god. Okay, you stupid. I hate you. I hate everything you stand for. Alright, of course I missed. K kill it before it hits you. Thank you. gonna hack that all I can do is lead to trouble all right the winter not the winter that's a different game all right message to Buster Conley nice piece you did on the monorail construction project heaven's highway devil's doing <laughs> cute but I think you give organized crime too much credit Various Boston families coming together to fund a public works project? Uh, please. Clearly you never sat down at dinner with these guys. You can barely agree on an appetizer. And ain't nobody jumping to pick up the check. The bosses had their hands Sweet. in the honey pot, sure. But nowhere near the level you were suggesting. You did get one thing right, though. Safety Inspector Alice Lansky was killed. They'll never find her. Because there's nothing left. What else you got? A little 50 now, but I think, uh, I think we can make that a bit more extravagant. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Let's try it again. Let's try and do it first time, please. That's it. And his name is John C. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no. No, no, see? <laughs> I didn't... I actually didn't think that would pay off, but it did. I had a good laugh. I had a good laugh. Alright. <laughs> I really wish I would have downloaded that before I went to level 50. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I got a good laugh out of that. I did. I did. Oh, man.
I wonder if I should keep that on. I, I wanted to just have it for level 50. Um, cause I knew the mod, <laughs> I knew the mod existed, but I didn't know if I should use it. <laughs> but frankly, I'm level 50 and this is Fallout and I have a lot of hours in it, so I didn't really care. Oh man. I wonder if I should keep using that. Or just play the longer one, at least. <laughs> I hit the table, I'm sorry for the audio spike. Oh man. Ah, oh, his name is John Cena. His name is John Cena. Alright, the thing hasn't even loaded. The little figurine that's always in these things. Is it even here? Or has it just screwed me over again? Up. Oh, this, of course, as soon as I all tabbed out, it's there. <laughs> I was about to quit. Why did I hear about five turrets go off? Alright, so the, the, finding these things gonna take a while, and I really wanted to go to level 50, and I just realized that the John Cena mod existed. So, I mean, and I could use it for <laughs> a momentous occasion such as that. Is that a blood bug? Yes, it is. Oh, crap, I didn't kill it in the first try. All right. Let's try it again. He's behind a thing. Okay, you stay over there. Think we're alone. We are not alone. Okay, you stay over there now. I'm not getting that. Am I getting that? Yay! Oh wait, it's still says caution. There's blood. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Okay, it's close, it's close, very close, very close, very close. I didn't- You will not do the thing from the trip. Thank you, Nick. I always have so much trouble aiming at those things because of how small their limbs are. Is there anything worthwhile in here, or can I just do what I was gonna do? There was a blood bug in here, there's always- Oh god, it's Red Widow blood bug, it probably means something bad. Just in case. Kind of wasn't paying attention. All right, so instead of doing finding all these hollow tapes, I'll find them. Probably play. God dang it! I'll probably find them, play all them uh, later on, and then I'll. Uh... Oh God, where's he going? Where is he going? And then we'll go do the rest of Nick's quest. But for now, I want to see about liber liberating Lib Libertalia. And I actually didn't use that joke on purpose. Oh, come on! It's... What did I, what did I do? Is Finch Farm okay? I don't know. Is Finch Farm okay? I don't know. Okay. I didn't... I didn't even turn my quick saves again. I didn't turn my quick saves again. I forgot about that because I was... I knew I was gonna forget. I forgot about that because I was busy doing the settlement thing. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Turn the auto saves off. Okay. Oh, well, looks like I'm going back to see what's up. My last save is from about a day ago. Uh, oh no, there were four people there. Okay. This is a thing that I should have done. Alright, I'll, I'll skip over the John Cena. It was a, a one-time joke. It won't be funny if I do it a second time. Okay, yay for autosave. It's gonna take forever to get out now. I have to kill those blood bugs again. And go to Libertalia. Or just go to Finch Farm before everything just falls apart. I think I'll go to Finch Farm before everything falls apart. It wasn't a legendary blood bug or anything. I would pay more attention to those if they didn't come at such inopportune times like when I'm talking to Nick about his past. Is it just me? Like, does it take this long to load for everyone? I will level up later. I need to see what's up with Finch Farm, or if I need to cry now or later. Just in case everyone's going to die either way. Red Rocket's never gonna get attacked, especially with the weapons that I gave Piper and Kate. And the followers that I'm going to put there. And besides, Dogmeat's there. Dogmeat's invincible. 
invincibly. Are you okay? Oh, there's a raider there. Uh. You do not appear to be okay. Where where are the rest of you? Oh god, the legendary raider, alright. Hey, okay. Oh, come on. Fin finish him. Finish her. Are there more? Oh, come on. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I'm going to hit you by a team. You are punching a man with a gun. Alright. It's the equivalent of bringing a knife to a gunfight on purpose. You know you only have your fist, so stay over there. Alright, I thought this was going to be a little less eventful, to be honest. Is that everyone? Is that everyone? No, I, oh, god. I completed I completed it, but what is... What's happening? What, what was that? I, I saw a person in that. Oh, uh... At least the pay is terrible. Oh, there's a Mr. Gutsy. Okay. What's happening? Someone just died, didn't they? Someone just died. Someone just died. I know they did. Okay, no one died. No one died. Alright, where's the legendary raider? He has some legendary on him or he's just annoying? I don't need that. I don't need it. I'll sell it though, but I don't need it. Like that hunter flamer that I don't need. Okay, so this episode has just been uh, talk to Valentine, talk to Preston, go a few load, go through a few loading screens, uh, listen to a pre-war ghoul apparently, uh, talk, and John Cena, and and uh, protecting his farm. Yeah, it's been an eventful episode. <laughs> All right, what am I doing? I do not need that. Should I upgrade any of these things? I mean, my perks. Robotics expert, sniper. I feel like I should get ninja, but I, that requires two agility. And I've been doing pretty good without it. But I would always like more. I've been doing a lot more with rifles. Uh, I'll, I'll do riflemen. I will find more ways to level up. Why is my health going down even though I stim pack myself? Okay, let's try that again. Stim pack. Okay. Alright, we're good. Alright, so I guess we'll liberate Libertalia next episode because stuff happened. That did not go in my favor because, you know, I keep forgetting about these settlement defense quests. I don't know how I make them not be so susceptible to be susceptible to attacks is that that's not english anyway you know what i mean uh but next episode we'll definitely do that because i want to do something productive episode was productive but i mean there wasn't much in the way of shooting things in their face move faster move faster move faster don't make me throw you i will throw you i will spin you I will spin you, and you will be dizzy, and you will not like it. Do you want to be- okay. <laughs> I was threatening a, a vault boy dressed up as Jesus. Uh, but yeah, here, here's a Libertalia. That's that's the print win, that's not Libertalia. But uh, this is this Libertalia. It's some sort of raider encampment that's uh, made up of a bunch of boats. It looks pretty cool, actually. I think I might just go in here guns blazing. Looks like a... What? Nick, 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 Nick. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well, I guess we'll go in guns blazing next episode. Oh, is that the Brotherhood here to help me? Oh. Oh, this will be a great gunfight. Alright, I'll, I'll stop it here. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like if you did. Faded if really enjoyed it. Subscribe to see this uh, gunfight that's obviously going to happen in the next episode. And I'll see you in the next episode. Go, Shurries. Freestyle
rapping, man. Matt Fox the Supreme, we mean machine. Some people only get one song. You see, he gets ten songs, twelve all hours long. Cause he's the only guy that can never be wrong. I said, hey man, you should own the world. And everybody bow to your mighty hood. We could take over all the land, your majesty, and rule the world from sea to sea.